Yo, what up guys? We are live at the Jordan event. Sitting with Kais, yes, Mina, Lance back there. It's about to go down right now. See the stage. What's happening? We don't know yet. Let's find out. Kais told me not to do this anymore in 2018, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So let's see what's going on. Now, finished, just finished the panel with Kenny, Spike, Alili, Shay, and Don C. And right now we're taking a look at all of the game shoes. There's two different sections. There's the game shoes, there's the lifestyle shoes, and then the women's shoes. Right now, we're gonna take a look at all of the game shoes. They have some sick stuff. They're flipping the styles, and they're totally changing up the way we perceive the shoes and doing some really dope storytelling. So let's check these out. section, the performance shoes, and that's what's over here. They have a bunch of stuff from Jordan Brand. They have like these Italian exclusive colorways that are really dope. I'll put release dates to all of these down in the description, but just want to give you guys a quick look at these. They have the highs, they have the lows. A lot of these are inspired by the same stories, so this one's inspired by the dunk contest. Michigan is obviously getting in love because they're a Jordan school, so they have the Michigan colorway there, and you see that they flip the back where it doesn't have the ridges there anymore, so you see those. There is just a regular cool gray pair. Obviously, cool gray is a big colorway when it comes to Jordan brand. They've been doing it all a lot lately, and so this where this one comes in to play. They have the camo one that we've seen. This one is called the Master. I'm not sure what the inspiration is behind this one, but has that camo colorway there as well. Uh, they have, this one actually looks really cool. It's a low, and this one is like a tan and a pink a little bit and it has Gordon Street. I'm not sure what Gordon Street is. I have to find out, maybe that's where Jordan grew up, but thought this one looked really cool as well. There's an all black 32, which is this one, and it's crazy. It has a little bit of a translucent there. So I kind of feel like it's inspired by the Air Jordan 13, and then it has black cat right there on the back, and then it has the year that Jordan won the championships on the back in those numbers right there. So you see there's six there. So 91, 92, 93, 96, 97, and 98. Very, very dope, very dope shoe. Of all of them, of all of them, I like that black one probably the most. And then they have the for her collection, which is actually on the other side. So you know Jordan Brand is doing a lot of focus on the women, and the women are getting a lot of love. They're actually gonna get their own off-white sneakers, so the women will get their own off-white Europe exclusive. And then they have the For Her collection. So a lot of these you've probably seen online. What up guys, so right now we're at the lifestyle version and there's a couple things I wanna show you real quick, so hold on. Now, one of my favorite shoes that's here is this shoe. So this shoe is the Air Jordan 3. This is the white cement version. And this one is here to celebrate the dunk contest and it has some very cool details celebrating the dunk contest. The first has the wedge stripe because Michael Jordan jumped from the free throw line. And then on the back of the tongue, it actually has 147, which was Michael Jordan's score in the dunk contest. And then they've actually flipped the insole. So the insole is actually the same as the outsole. So if you like that. All right. All right, cool. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1. This is the Black History Month version of the Air Jordan 1. These are 160, I believe. I'm not sure when these are releasing, but again, same with the Black History hits, the red, black, and the green. Um, can't share anything yet, but by the time you guys see this video, the embargo already passed. So here, the Air Jordan 1. Fly knit version, red, black, and green, Black History Month, the equality. You know, Nike's doing the equality thing right now, so this all kind of plays into that. Obviously, it's Jordan brand, so obviously, you know, it has something to do with OVO and Drake, and they're releasing two eights. There's this black one, 
and then this white one. Obviously they have the gold accents, they have the OVO owl on the back, they have the red jump man, then they have the gold accents, same thing with the black, then the owl on the back. But look for these to drop on February 16th, and I'm sure it'll be somewhere here over All Star. Again, these are probably be super limited, so if you want a pair, keep your eyes open, because it's going to be crazy. Kais, ladies and gentlemen. Kais Omar. Kais Omar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, and speaking of the Air Jordan 3, this one is probably the most unique Air Jordan 3 here. So for those that don't know the story behind this one, this is the original design that Tinker created for the Air Jordan 3. As you see, it has this weird looking Nike swoosh back from the day, has a Nike Air on the back. So it takes you back to where Tinker was thinking he would draw in from the Air Jordan 2 and mix it with the Air Jordan 3. Has a hit of Nike right here on the inside. But another insight that I would want you guys to really take from this shoe is to see this was his first design and this is not how things end up. When you see stuff leaked online, sometimes they have all this crazy stuff on them but the end and final product is always changed up to really what they want. So you see this is what it started out with but then it changed to what I just showed you. So just FYI. Alright, another one that I really like but this one's not released until the holiday. It's the Air Jordan 1 straps there is no pricing or release date on these we just know that these are going to release during the holiday and it's pretty cool it's like basically it's an air jordan one with these straps and they added this extra little layer around here i honestly think it's really dope but i just don't know when it's actually going to release on the flip side they have this one this is the gold black and white air jordan one there's no release date for this one right now it is tbd sorry there's a basketball game in the background the release date is tbd but these are going to be 160 dollars when they release as well tonight live from los angeles the all-star uniforms will be unveiled. Yeah, they look good to play good tonight. And for the first time ever, it's back to the basics. This is like at the park. They get to the pick who you roll them. East versus West is the past. It's Team LeBron versus Team Stephen. I doubt you guys can barely see me, but this is the Westbrook section. This is where they're doing all of Westbrook's gear. You see they have Westbrook's all-star jersey, how they're going with the LA-inspired black. And they're going with the white with the OKC on the front. Then they have a lot of his shoes here. They have like this cream sickle OKC colorway, this like white turquoise colorway of the Westbrook Why Not 1.0. They're going all white. This one is one I really like. It's, a, it's like a navy colorway, navy with gold. This one's really dope. Kind of reminds me of the stuff that they do for the captain, so that's really dope. They have like this camo inspired version. It's a light camo. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a little bit of camo hits on it. This is the version. This version actually already released. So you guys, this was the limited release that came out first. Another OKC inspired colorway. You can see with the orange there, and then the blue has like the split in the back there. And then what I really like is they're doing some, looks like they're doing some Jordan Why Not gear uh, with Westbrook. So you see that has the why not, has some sweats with Westbrook's logo on it right there. Then they have some cut off shorts. And then obviously something Westbrook would definitely wear with this like wild cut off shirt. They're gonna cut, slim cut at the bottom. Looks almost like a, like a blue label, almost like a high end fashion line that they're gonna do with Westbrook, which I'm all about. And then this is the one that I had questions about. It is the fly knit version of the Air Jordan 3. This is technically a sample. These aren't scheduled to release until March 18th. And unlike the other Jordan 3s that you've seen that were $200, this one actually is $220. It is marked up with a little bit of a premium, but the fly knit goes all the way from the toe to the heel. There's a little bit of a heel counter here that's not made of fly knit. And then they have a leather liner on the inside. And then they have, looks like a really nice leather insole as well but again these are 220 this is just a sample but you'll see those on march 18th when they drop all right now easily my favorite shoe of all the shoes that are here is this one this is the black cement three these are releasing over all-star weekend but all of these leather tumble leather on the upper obviously they have the nike air here which is not something that we've seen in a long time on the air jordan three so it's good to see that they're bringing it back so this one really excited about this ladies and gentlemen that's what makes a difference for us you know we're not just a brand that's you know based on whatever we have a person who is the uh, epitome of greatness you know we've all heard the Michael Jordan of you know this person is the Michael Jordan of this or the Michael Jordan of that MJ has set that standard of greatness he wants to make sure that the brand continues to try to represent him and that greatness in everything that we do. He's heavily, heavily involved. The, the, the great thing too about it is he's he's open, open and welcoming. Somebody will call him and say, hey, hey, MJ, we need to talk to you about something. Come on down to the house. He sees that logo and that name, that's him. And he wants to make sure we're 
representing it in the best possible way. So yeah, that's just a quick look at what they have here. The shoes, there's also some apparel here as well. And then they also have the jerseys, which obviously launched today, which are black and white, inspired by the city of LA, which is a very dope look. And they have the Jordan logo on there, which is a big deal. That being said, guys, as always, hope you appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed everything that you've seen. Check down low in the description for everything that you saw here, because I have a lot of the information there. With that being said, I'm Jock Slate. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I'll see you soon. Peace. At the lifestyle version. Uh oh, they're about to make an announcement. Hold on. Red, black, the green. green. Uh -oh. is under embargo until 4:30 p.m. today. Black hit. You know, usually Drake goes with black and gold, but they've added a little red here. And speaking of the Air Jordan Three, there. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaisomar. Kaisomar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>